Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and another tutorial. Today we're going to work on the Catherine wheel stitch and this was actually a request. I'm not sure if this person is a subscriber or not but no worries I got you. So let's go ahead and get started on this pretty and easy Catherine stitch. So we're going to start off with an um, a chain multiples of 10. I'm going to make 37 chains. That's multiples of 10 plus 7. You can make more chains if you want to, but I'm going to start off small with my 37 and I'll be back. So I have my 37 chains here. We're going to skip the first stitch and go into the next two stitches with one single crochet. Now you're going to skip three, one, two, three, yarn over and make seven double crochets into that fourth stitch. seven double crochets. I hope I didn't come out of the camera. Go ahead and skip three more and then make one single crochet into the next three. That's one, two, and three. Now skip another three and then make another seven double crochets. And that's your pattern all the way across. I'm going to make these seven double crochets. And then after I make my seven double crochets, I'm going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then make one single crochet in the next three. So keep going across and I'll meet you when you get closer to the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row and I made my last seven double crochets, skip three and then made three single crochets across, one in each stitch. So when you're done, you should have four chains left. You're going to skip three and then go into that last stitch with four double crochets. three and four. Okay, four double crochets in that last stitch and this is what you should have so far. If you made the 37 chains like I did, you should have three sections of your seven double crochets. So let's move on. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then another one in the next stitch. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to double crochet seven together. So yarn over, go into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two only. That's one. Yarn over, go into the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two only. Gonna do that seven times. So that's two. This is three, four, five, six. And seven. And just to make sure, you can always count those double crochets because you basically only made the bottom half of the double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over and pull through all of your loops. Try to stay nice and loose and chain one. So now, when you're making this stitch, it usually asks you to chain three and then make your way over to these single crochets. I learned how that we can close that gap because when you do that, it leaves a gap there in the middle. So to prevent that gap, for your last uh, double crochet, your seventh double crochet, 
go into that bar, that top bar of that double crochet, and then slip stitch. And then go into the bottom part of that stitch, the base of the stitch, and yarn over and make another slip stitch. And that's going to really, uh, keep from getting that gap in there. So when you go over to the next stitch, once you've done those two slip stitches, go ahead and go into the next three with one single crochet. Okay. Chain three. And now we're going to do another uh, double crochet seven together. So we've chained three, yarn over, go into the loop, pull up, and pull through two only. This is two, three, four, five. six and seven okay once you have your seven go ahead and yarn over and pull through all of your loops try to keep it nice and loose and chain one so let's go ahead and slip stitch in that side again go right in between that double crochet and make a slip stitch and then right into that base and make a slip stitch So now you're going to do it again and make one single crochet in the next three. That's one, two, and three. Now chain three again. One, two, three. Yarn over and make your seven double crochet together again. If you feel like you got it, you can go ahead and continue on. So now as you can see, we're getting closer to the end of the row. So again, make your slip stitch again, and then again into the base of the stitch. Make your single crochets, one, two, three, and now we're going to double crochet four together. So um, chain three, yarn over, go into your next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two only. Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, into the next one. Pull through two. That's three. And your final stitch at the end. Yarn over, pull up your loop. Pull through two. And pull through all your loops. And that's what you should have so far. This is what she's looking like so far. Okay. So now chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. So now we're going to make three double crochets into the first stitch. So remember we made those, um, we slip stitch, we double crochet those four together, which made one. And so go into that first stitch with three double crochets. That's two. And this is three. Now you're just going to take your hook and go all the way over, bypassing that chain that you made and make your three single crochets. And when you bypass that chain, when you bypass the chain, it just closes up that gap there. So now what we're going to do, since we're getting closer to the seven uh, double crochets that we did together, um, the seven double crochets together, <laughs> now we're going to add seven double crochets into that stitch there. So skip all the way over and go right into the center of those seven double crochets together. And make seven double crochets. That's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. So once you make your seven double crochets into that stitch there, go right over and just take your hook and go right into the next single crochet, the next three. So one single crochet into the next three. And those are the three from the previous row that you put on top of those seven double crochets that you made in your first row. So now again, we're back at that center and you're going to make seven double crochets again. So once you've made your seven, go ahead and immediately go over to those single crochets and make your three single crochets. And then um, again, make your seven double crochets into that circle. And I'll meet you right here at the circle when I make my seven double crochets here. Okay, so now at the end of row three, you want to put one single crochet into the last two. So now we're moving on to row four, chain three, turn your work. Now we're going to double crochet three together, these three stitches here. So yarn over, go in, pull through two. Go into the next one, yarn over, pull through two, and the last one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all the loops, and chain one. I'm sorry. Yeah, chain one. Mm -hmm. Now you again, we're going to slip stitch into that bar of that double crochet, and then again into the base. Then you're going to make one single crochet into the next three. One, two, three, and then chain three and double crochet seven together again. So one, two, I don't mean again, but for the first time in this row, three, Four, five, six, oops, oops, and seven. Okay, two, and all of your loops, and chain one. Now again, go into this stitch here, in between that double crochet. And make your slip stitch and just keep repeating that. Make your three double crochets one, two, three, chain three, and then seven double crochets together. And I'm going to meet you when I get over here to this last um, wheel. Okay, so I'm at the end of row four, and then now you just put one single crochet into these last two stitches okay so that would be your last row from row one to four it is a four row repeat so once you've done row four you're going to go back into row chain one turn your work and then one single crochet into the next two and now you're going to make seven double crochets into that space here. Remember, we're back on row one and seven. So once you've made those seven double crochets, you're going to just go right over into the next set of stitches and make one single crochet into each stitch. And you just keep on repeating. Make your seven double crochets. We're back at row two now. I mean, sorry, row one. So once you've made those three single crochets, make your seven double crochets. 
and go right over into the next and make your three and so on. And I'll meet you at the end so we can finish off. Okay, so back at the end of row two, because remember we started over again. I'm sorry, I keep saying row two, it's row one. And then um, you're going to skip those three that you crocheted together and then go into your last stitch with four double crochet. Okay, so then you go back and just repeat row two. I'm sorry, yeah, row two, three, four, and then you start over again from row one. So that is what she looks like. I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for another tutorial. Have an awesome, awesome day, guys. Bye-bye.